Hey guys, Oscar Gomez here with Master Automotive Training, smartautotraining.com. Have you ever wondered how can I become a master technician? About nine years ago, I had the same question. My instructor and mentor, Mr. Don Wilson, told me you got to take it one step at a time. In this video, I'm going to show you the five easy steps to become a master technician. Go ahead and grab your tools. Let's get ready. Let's hit it. Step number one, you need to gain experience. In order to take the National Institute for Automotive Service Excellence, or AXC exams, you need to provide proof of at least two years of prior experience in the area in which you'll be testing. This not only helps you gain field experience, it also helps you prepare for the test since all AXC exams are experience-based. Step number two, you need to create an account with ASC at www.asc.com. I'll provide a link for you in the description. You will then need to fill out your work experience questionnaire on the work experience tab on your dashboard upon logging in to ASC.com. Step number three, in order to be considered a master ASC technician, ASC requires a minimum of eight ASC certifications in eight different fields. And here they are. A1, engine repair. A2, automatic transmissions and transaxles. A3, manual drivetrain and axles. A4, suspension and steering, A5, brakes, A6, electrical and electronic systems, A7, heating and air conditioning, and A8, engine performance. Now that you have created your account and submitted your work experience, it's now time to register for your test. From the home page, click register now and it will take you to the registration page. Here you can select what test or tests you wanna take there is a $36 registration fee per person per registration window. If you're taking any of the advanced level tests such as the L1, L2, or L3, those are about $86 a piece. All other certification tests are about $43 a piece. Step number four. Now that you have scheduled your test, your next step is to study up. I usually recommend brushing up on your understanding of common terms in the area in which you will be testing. If you need some study material, I always personally recommend the Del Mar Learning for the ASC Technician Test Prep Manuals. I'll provide a link for you in the description below. These manuals give a lot of good information and good test taking skills that are needed for technicians to take ASC exams. Step number five, it's test day. Testing day, make sure you get plenty of rest the night before. I recommend not to do a cram session. What a cram session is, is when you take the hours leading up to your test to shove as much information into your brain as you possibly can. Usually what that does is it creates confusion, one, and two, you're gonna kind of forget some of the information that you crammed into your mind, plus the information that you've been studying over the past few days. Make sure that you arrive to the test center early. If you're late, your test can be canceled. Make sure to take a valid ID and only bring your car keys and ID into the test center. All other items will be placed in a locker, which the test center is not responsible if something were to happen. The test center staff will then direct you to your testing computer and your test will begin. Remember, use the process of elimination. Does that answer make sense? One thing I always say is your first answer is usually right and never, ever go back and check your answers because then you normally will contradict yourself and lead you to change a passing answer. Upon completing the exam, your test results will be emailed to you and trust me, those results are gonna be a pass. It's that simple guys. At the current moment, I hold 13 ASC certifications and I'm working on getting many, many more. I'm always told, yeah, but you're a teacher. That doesn't make any difference. I'm no different than you and you're no different from me. As an instructor, I usually learn more from my students than my students learn from me. Now it's my turn to give back. The only major difference between myself and some of my students is I want it more. How much do you want it? Don't let the thought of taking a test slow you from achieving your goal of becoming a master technician. I wish you guys luck on your ASC venture. If you guys have any questions, 
please put them in the comments down below and I'll see how I can help you guys out. As always guys, a good technician's always learning. Signing off here, Oscar Gomez, smartautotraining.com.